my name is Jared Wellman. I'm an instructor at the Bernardo Free Academy. I'm here with my friend Adrian. Today we're going to go over a basic circle pass and some variances on how to finish it. So the pass will be the same, but usually when people frame to stop it, we're going to talk about how to clean up those frames. So Adrian's going to be on his back. This is a supine guard, meaning he's not seated. He's on his back in a supine or laying position. I have to get around the feet. So, just a little bit. so the first thing I want to think about is immobilizing his hips. Right now, he can move his hips a whole lot. I'm going to move to one knee on the inside here, and one hand is going to thread to the hip. Notice my posture. I don't want to be leaning over him because now I'm giving him what he wants for his guard. I want to stay away from the feet. So as I'm here low in a good stance, one hand on the knee, I thread to the hip. Now, the hand on the knee, I'm going to step and push to the mat. Look how I have a straight arm here, and my feet are back. Okay, My right arm is flaring to block the knee shield. If I'm up here like this, he brings this knee shield in, and now, look, it's very hard to get to the pass. So I make sure to block that far knee shield. So one more time. I'm here like this, starting my entry. Knee, I circle to the hip with my hands. Now I'm ready to move to the side and get heavy. I would say like 80% of my weight is on this knee. I want it glued to the mat. Maybe 20% is on the hip. If he tries to bring that top knee in, it's hard. If I put all my weight here, he just bumps this way, and I'll get knocked over. So I get heavy here like this. Now I want to change my angle, because look, I want to get to the chest, but he's going to frame. Look, his arms come up. There's no way I can get to his chest. But I turn my angle so I'm facing his belt. So we'll change the camera view, or the view for the camera, but this way. So when I first start, my angle is right towards his head. He starts framing. I can't get through this. I turn my feet. Look, now I'm looking at his belt. I'm going to clean up this bottom knee right here by pushing away and up. Now you can see my right hand is on the hip. My left hand is heavy. When he's framing, though, I can't get chest to chest. So my hand comes up to the outside here and pulls up. If I don't, look, he wants to keep his shoulder down. This shoulder comes up. Go ahead and hip escape. That's what he's going to do to start recovering. I'm going to come back. My hand's on the far hip here. He's framing on my shoulder. As I'm here, now hip escape. It's hard. Look, I'm holding him here. He can still do a little bit, but it opens up this path here to get heavy. Okay? One more time. Starting nice and relaxed here. Knee first, thread to the hip. Look, my posture's low. I step, pin his knee to the mat, circle. Get his frames engaged, clean up the knee, and drop. Look how my hands already come to the outside. I pull to get myself heavy. Even if he's framing as hard as he wants, I'm changing the angle right now. Frame. Right now, look, it's blocking me. But as I turn my shoulders and pull, I can now slip here, thread my hand to the inside, connect, and I'm in a good side control. We'll do that one more time, and then we'll show the second variation. So here I am, knee, hip, drop it down. This is my first stop. I circle, I meet the frames. Did not go any further. I clean up the leg, and I drop. Already I'm here, right here, my hand's on the outside holding. I thread to the inside, under the head. I can pull the shoulder or connect my hands, however you want to play, but I like connecting here and being nice and tight. So that's the first one. Let's come back to this first angle. Let's talk about the second position. So as I'm going, I start here. Everything is the same. I turn, he frames. Now as I clear, I can think about the idea of even shifting my hips. We'll do this variation. Instead of gripping here, all I'm going to do is dive deep and turn. Now the frames, he can push this arm all he wants. Good, look, super strong. I'm not in a side control, I'm really in a case of katana here, but I want to think about this idea. I can't move the hand, so I'm going to pull up and switch. So nice and relaxed, knee and hip. As I circle, I meet the frames, I clear the leg. Right here, instead of dropping down, I drop in. So my hip is right next to his hip. My far elbow's here. Now his arms are stretched out. Most people will tuck his arms in, right? I'll elbow in and be strong here. If he pushes too much away here, I already have setups for arm bars, etc. But I'm going to pull this arm up, switch my base, and now I'm in my side control. Let's look at it this way. Same idea. Knee and hip, I circle, I meet the frames. Clean up the leg first and drop in. Heavy. Now if I don't drop, and get stable, I'm gonna get knocked over. So I'm heavy here. 
I can wait here. He can go ahead and move around all he wants. I'll live. Now, as I turn, I don't want to stay low on his hips. I'm pulling the arm up, bring his hands over his head. Here, even if he keeps framing, keep framing. Good. I use body weight, right? How long? How long? Now I can thread to the inside. Come on. So let's look at those last two. First one, he frames as I drop down here. I'm just pulling, pulling, and getting heavy, heavy, heavy. I can even use my body weight, okay? Thread to the inside, come underneath. The second one, I just change my hips. Super basic, super simple. I turn, pull up, thread my arm in, boom. That's it, guys. So the circle pass, this is a style of passing. It's very easy getting that hip and knee, changing the angle. You've got to meet the frames, get used to it, learn how to kind of clean up on those, those frames and how you can turn your hips or pull up their shoulders. That way you can complete the pass. Thank you.